Hey guys, so today's video is kind of fun and different and interesting and cool. Ah, uh -huh, just kidding, it's me talking at a camera and doing a tag. But it is also all of those things. Today I'm going to be doing a tag uh, that I actually haven't seen done much on the internet and it's called the gender tag. If you guys want to learn more about the gender tag and the gender tag project, uh, click below for more info. Otherwise, here we go. Quick disclaimer. I just want to take a minute to say that all the views on gender or my gender or gender identity that I express are literally just my thoughts on it and in no way do I expect or believe that they are everyone's thoughts on it, nor do I expect or believe that they should be everyone's thoughts on it. So again, the words that come out of my mouth are applicable to me and my life and my experience in my body. I'm excited for your responses and your feedback and your opinions too, so be sure to share them in the comments below. Let's go! Question one. How do you self-identify your gender and what does that definition mean to you? For me, I identify as a woman. And what does that definition mean to me? I don't think it defines me, it's just who I am. So that's how that definition is for me. Boop boop. Question two, what pronouns honor you? I use she, her pronouns. Question three, describe the style of clothing that you wear most often. Uh, I've often heard my style described as androgynous or like metrosexual e. Sometimes I like to be really casual, meaning I wear a v-neck or a snapback. Uh, sometimes I get, like to get a little dressed up, sometimes I like to put on makeup, sometimes I don't. Really, it just kind of depends on what I'm in the mood for that day. Talk about your choices with body hair. How do you style your hair? Do you have facial hair? Why do you choose to shave or choose not to shave? Uh, I love shaving. I'm a big advocate of shaving. I style my hair like this. I love shaving chunks out of my head, mainly because my hair is really, really thick, and in most times where I haven't shaved portions of it out, it just kind of sits in a mop on my head. Like this. Oh no. Question five, talk about cosmetics. Do you choose to wear makeup? Do you paint your nails? What types of soaps and perfumes do you use, if any? When I choose or choose not to wear makeup really revolves around time and energy and effort. Uh, I think putting on makeup's pretty fun and I like the way I look after I put it on. So if I have the time and the energy and want to put in the effort, I'll do it. If I'm busy and I don't, then I won't. In terms of soaps and perfumes, I like to use deodorant that doesn't have any aluminum in it because I think it's really bad for you. And I like to wear varying colognes. One of them is Hugo Boss Unlimited. The other is a Burberry, just Burberry. So those are the ones I like. Number six, have you ever been misgendered? If so, how often? I've been misgendered like twice in my life. Once I uh, was at a Sizzler in Arizona. I was there with a girl I was dating at the time and the waiter called me Sir. We were there with my sister and her husband too. And the funny thing was is that I wouldn't say I was dressing particularly masculinely. I was wearing a sweatshirt and a beanie. And I think he called me Sir just because I was sitting next to a girl with my arm around her. And this was back in like 2009, 2010. So I think that's one of the only, mem no, 2006. This was in 2006. Anyway, it's one of the only times I remember being misgendered. Other times people are just like, and for you, sir? Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am, miss? And I'm like, well, well, whatever. Question seven, do you experience dysphoria and how does that affect you? Uh, but for the most part, no, I feel, um, very, I feel satisfied with my life. I feel really good. Question eight, talk about children. Are you interested in having children? Would you want to carry a child if that were an option for you? Do you want to be the primary caretaker for any children you may have? For me, having children is a two person decision. It's me and my future partners. Um, and we'll kind of discuss that when we get there. In terms of carrying a child and not carrying a child, again, I don't really think I can make a definitive statement on it. Right now, I'm not ready for children, but I imagine that the me in the future that is ready for children would probably choose to adopt. Number nine, talk about money. Is it important to you to provide for a family financially if you choose to have one? Is it important that you earn more than your partner may have? Do you prefer to pay for things like dates? Are you uncomfortable when others pay or offer to pay for you? In talking about money, do I feel responsible to provide for my family? Yes, I think that all members of the family should contribute to the family's mutual well-being, however that may be. Do I need to earn more than my partner? No, absolutely not. Uh, and I don't think I would be with somebody who felt that they needed to earn more than me or that I, they needed me to earn more than them. Um, and actually, I'm a little bit surprised that this question's on this questionnaire, but then I guess for a lot of people, money and power can be gendered. But in my life, it's really not. Number 10, anything else you want to share about your experience with gender? Yes, I want to close by saying this. My experience with gender and the world of gender and non-binary gender identity and pronouns and all this amazing stuff is something I'm learning about. And I fully, fully support people discovering and being their happiest selves in whatever body that may be. So 
Um, that's my understanding of it. I'm sure I'm going to learn a lot more immediately after I post this video. So I can't wait to read the comments and I can't wait for your feedback. Yeah, that's it. Subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm going to go eat a popsicle because it's really hot in this room. Yeah, that's my song. Mm -hmm. Have a great day.